Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Last week on the Tastemaster SA, it was chaos in the kitchen as contestants worked in teams of three to create gingerbread structures inspired by South Africa. The pressure got the better of Fifi as her team started to break down. In the end, Team Yellow secured victory with their farm stall inspired bake. It's a brand new week. I am excited, anxious. I don't feel too bad about the previous challenge because what we put out, we were very proud of. I don't think I deserve to win the elimination challenge because had it been an individual challenge, I believe that I would have nailed it. But because of team dynamics, I am where I am today. Right, here we are, back for another elimination challenge. Obviously, the six of you with the aprons, you are biking to stay in the competition. The one in six chance of going home still stands, so I've got to bring my A game. I'm definitely no stranger for the elimination challenge. I've done all three, so I'm kind of like quite calm and collected during these. Today's challenge is going to take us all back to our youth, and it's a chance at redemption after last week's challenge. Today we're exploring a classic flavour combination, cookies and milk. It sounds easy, but obviously with these Tastemaster challenges, they never are. This is the Tastemaster kitchen. So we're not looking for the ordinary cookie and milkshake pairing. We're looking for a pairing that is worthy of earning you a spot in the next round. I think in Isizulu they say soiki, and it means I'm scared, and I really am soiki. To get you inspired, we're sending you off to a masterclass with this week's guest judge. She is one of South Africa's favorite cookbook authors and food personalities. Are you guys ready? Yes! Right, off you go! I'm so happy I'm safe, but I would have loved to be in this challenge. I feel like this is up my alley. The other guys are lucky I'm not a part of it. Hailing from the friendly city of Tabacha, Chef Zanele Fanseo is a multi-award winning cookbook author with a passion for creating simple yet delicious recipes and sharing them with the nation. My name is Zanele Fanseo, also known as Cooking with Zanele. I'm a chef and I am a cookbook author. Cooking for me is a love language. Every dish is flavored with a pinch of love. The cookies and milk challenge is very exciting because we all know how to bake cookies. But today's challenge is all about elevating the normal or easy cookie and adding anything that you want just to make it flavorful and different. What's gonna to take to impress me is just simplicity. But I like good looking food. Your biscuit must look pretty, but of course it must taste nice. <laughs> It feels amazing to be safe this week so that I can just sit back and enjoy the masterclass and whatever else without the looming threat of an elimination challenge. I'm so excited to meet Chef Zanele. Uh, I can follow her on Instagram and hope I'm going to learn a lot from her. Sanwanan, welcome. Gamalami with Zanele Fansal, also known as Cooking with Zanele. As you know, the challenge for today is biscuit and milk. So I am here to show you guys this easy recipe. I'm sure we all developed the love of baking with biscuits. We all started with easy things to bake, but today we are going to make it fancy and elevate it a bit. Well, I've never made a cookie. I buy cookies. The Asa Cookies Bak is a gewoon oma sesuit cookie recipe. And this for what it opens. I want my butter to be pain before I can add other ingredients. Okay, now I'm going to add in some sugar. What's going to help me this week is incorporating more interesting flavors that I wouldn't usually go with. Now I'm adding in my eggs and mix again. I'm going to add in flour. My flour has already been sifted. And I'm going to add in two teaspoons of royal baking powder. And I'm going to add in a pinch of star anise. It will give it that warmth. I'm quite used to the use of savory elements in sweet bakes. I'm Indian, so we use star anise in everything. So I'm kind of comfortable. Now I'm adding this chopped 
fresh basil, so it gives that fresh taste and flavor and the smell. And what is nice about this recipe, you don't have to let your dough rest in the fridge. You can just go straight to shaping your biscuit. I'm going to make small bowls, like almost a golf size. I like her cooking as it's relatable. Whenever she shares a recipe, it's something that one can quickly whip up in the kitchen. Now, the last something something, the pink peppercorn. Who would have thought of it? I really enjoy interesting flavor combinations like this, especially when something edgy like pepper is used in a cookie. Now we're going to bake this for 12 to 15 minutes or until they are golden brown. And after that, I've got a surprise for you guys. I'm enjoying just the fact that she's taking a simple recipe and then just the love that you can see that she puts into. I'm feeding off Sunella's energy. I'm hoping to take some of that with me into the lemonation challenge. And this is our baked biscuits. Look how pretty they are. So I made two filling. I've got a cherry jam, which is made of um, marble syrup, cherry and chai seeds. And of course I have the vanilla butter mixture to make our biscuit sandwich. And there is no cake without a cherry on top. <laughs> <laughs> so this is getting more and more intense and intricate because now she's adding fillings to this biscuit. My wheels are turning in my head and I'm going from one thing to the next, thinking about fillings and thinking about jams that I can put in my biscuit. Of course there are no cookies without the milk. We're going to have Dalton from Pamelet to make this beautiful milkshake. Welcome to my kitchen! Thank you so much. Okay, Paneli, and thanks so much for that awesome uh, cookie recipe. Right. Okay, so today I'm going to make a little bit of a bougie twist to your standard milk. Um, I'm going to be making a spiced black sesame seed and cherry milkshake. Sounds delicious. I'll be using uh, Parmalat Everfresh Full Cream Milk. So all our milks got vitamin D, right? So you know vitamin D helps for better calcium absorption. Uh, and calcium is there for, for strong bones, so it's actually great for the whole family. I'm using full cream because I want a rich and creamy, indulgent uh, look and feel to my milkshake. You can use uh, low-fat or fat-free milk, we've got that in our range. And if you're lactose intolerant, we've got a great EasyJest uh, range as well. We've got some nice, fresh, pitted black cherries, mm. and we've got some cherry juice here. There's so much going on, I just can't wait to taste the whole thing. We're going to add some tahini. So uh, tahini is basically just your spice black sesame seed uh, paste. I've never thought of putting tahini in a milkshake. Wow. So now all that's left to do is to add some ice to mix it up so that it's smooth and creamy. This looks amazing. I like the color. Biggest tips from this masterclass is the flavor profiles. The twist with the black sesame and the tahini and then the basil in the cookie. So it took my brain from this is a cookie to this is what a cookie could be. And there you have it. This is our elevated cookies and milk version. <laughs> Who wants to come taste? Me! This cookie is surprisingly spicy. The peppercorns have quite a cool little bite. And I like how subtle the basil kind of comes through there. So the cookie all together, especially with the fillings, is a great cookie sandwich. It's really so balanced, the butteriness from the biscuit, and then the milkshake with that really nice berry flavor, the cherries. It's all just working so well. It's like a party in my mouth. I hope you guys got some ideas today. And for those who are baking in the Tastemaster kitchen, I'll see you guys there. Being in the elimination challenge is never a king because everyone in this challenge is very good. Coming up, the cookies and milk elimination challenge gets underway in the Tastemaster kitchen. Why not order from your oven? With precision, raise your standards and make it matter. AEG. Challenge the expected. Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Contestants, I hope you're feeling excited and inspired after that masterclass. Right, now for your challenge. You will have 90 minutes to create the ultimate cookies and palmalite milk experience. And remember, we're not looking for the ordinary. We're looking for exciting fillings and flavor combinations that will blow our minds. And presentation is everything. 
Also, remember, this is an elimination challenge, so one of you will be going home today. I am not going home. I am so not going home. So are you ready to bake more memories? Yes. yes. And your time starts in three, two, one. Let's get baking. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. Because baking is something that I do all the time. I need to get out of this kitchen. I'm worried about Balisa. She just walked out. I, I, I don't know what's going on. So we're missing a contestant here. Uh, Fifi, where's Salisa? She's feeling a bit overwhelmed, so she went to... Oh, shame. She's okay. feeling overwhelmed. Uh, poor Pelesa. I'm not sure if it stems from what happened last week, but she has been very down. She thinks people are going to perceive that she did not do her best. I can't do this. I, this is too much for me. Glenda, you're keeping an eye there on that. Those <laughs> nuts are turning quite dark. Yeah. Okay, especially excited. I see we've got a lot of herbs, fresh herbs. Okay. So my bake today is the millionaire's shortbread. So I will incorporate the pecan nuts in uh, in my biscuit, and then I am actually going to incorporate a bit of chopped uh, fresh. rosemary, oh, wow. fresh. And in my caramel, I'm actually going to infuse it with sage, and uh, chocolate will li literally be a ganache on top. So it will be layers of three different aspects. Tell me about your drink quickly. What are we going to see? I'm going to cook my milk. That will have a little bit of caramel. It will have a little bit of nuts in that. So yeah. Um, okay, so there's going to be some, some flavors that's going to pull through into that. Yes. I'm making a millionaire shortbread cookie because it takes me out of my comfort zone, it pushes me. And above all, it's delicious. Alyssa is back and she's not looking good. Uh, this competition can be a bit overwhelming. Alyssa, I'm trying to send my energy to you. How are you? How do you feel? I don't know, I'm feeling... <laughs> I just walk in, in here and my mind is just blank. So I think I just need to pray a little bit. Okay? I'm beating myself up too much. I feel like I've been a bit too harsh on myself, previous challenges and throughout the competition. So I feel like it's starting to take a toll on me now. Alisa, you've been here before. <laughs> yeah. No? You felt the pressure before. What? This is just another day in the kitchen. Can you give me some energy? Thank you. I'm making a pumpkin and ginger cookie. And then my drink will be a chai milkshake. My plan is roasting my pumpkin and then just starting with the batter. Damien, I see you've got your dough already mixed and what is happening here? Dough is ready. I have toasted some cinnamon and cardamom. I That's smell the one that. biscuit I'm going to be doing. So I've got a vanilla base. So for the cookies, I'm going to make three layers. One is cardamom and cinnamon, one vanilla, and then top it off with cardamom and cinnamon. So my aim today is to flavor. Everything must have flavor. You inspired flavor. me. Aww. So I put a lot of flavor in it. So what are you going to make for us for drinks? So what? I'm going to take a play on a faluda. So I'm going to make it my own, add a bit of secret ingredients. I'm hoping you can taste it. <laughs> so on the go, I've got a, a simple setup for Turkish Delight. So that'll be one of my layers. And my seeds are soaking, so some things are happening. I'm finally part of Elimination Challenge. I'm going to be in my own space, my own creativity, and just going to wing it, you know? Just bring my A-game and keep on pushing. <laughs> Nolan, have you and your kitchen I gotten into a fight? Um, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's no, winning? But we patched it up, we patched it up. Are you patched it up? Yeah, I'm glad to hear up. that. I ended up winning that battle with the KitchenAid. <laughs> So Nolan, run us through what exciting bake are you preparing for us today? So today I'm doing my spin on a red velvet raspberry and spiced up cookie. Mm -hmm. There is a filling. I'm doing a cream cheese filling okay. to go with the red velvet. I'm a big guy, so I like a big cookie and it's going to go with my um, Bombay Crush. I've also got a surprise. I'm adding a bit of raspberry liqueur into my Bombay Crush, just a touch of Durban. I am so shocked. I'm looking over, I'm seeing Nolan with 
very much the same things I've got going on here. I've had Bombay crush from the time I was a tiny tot. My dad took me to Durban for my first Bombay crush and I remember sitting on the beachfront and enjoying the little seeds at the bottom and the vermicelli. It's so cooling when it goes down and especially for the Durban heat and it really gives you a pump of energy with all of that sugar inside. Take us through what you are making for us. Um, basically I'm making carrot cake but in the form of a cookie. Oh. Yes, mm -hmm. so my cookie is going to be spicy, mm -hmm. carrot, and I'm going to fill it with cream cheese frosting. Okay. So I'm going to make it a sandwich, sandwich. inspired by Azanelle, mm -hmm. and then I'm also going to be pairing it with chai latte. Oh! This was inspired by my niece. I miss her a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loves carrot cake. When I came here, it was not easy to leave her at home because we are the two only surviving members of our family. Yeah. So this is just to say to her, I'm doing this for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a great motivation. Yeah. I love that. Today I'm thinking American breakfast, pancakes and maple syrup, and bacon. So I'm bringing that together in a bacon and maple syrup cookie and I'm serving it with a bourbon spicy infused hot drink. So Lizelle, obviously not the first time we've seen bacon in the competition. Always fascinating, a savory component. But you're confident, I mean. I am, I am. You, you know, it is my third elimination. I try to be calm and hopefully everything will just come together. You look then. really calm and Thanks. I'm very interested to see what's going Thank to happen you. with that bacon. Thank you. Contestants, you have one hour to go. You've had 30 minutes. Let's push uh, everyone. Uh, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Judges, a bit of drama in the kitchen, but everyone seems to be in their element. I'm honestly worried about Vanessa. She didn't tell us anything. She was just very overwhelmed. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I hope she doesn't. She gets out of her head because you know she was the motivator for um, Fifi when she wasn't feeling well. So hopefully she takes some of her own advice and she snaps out of it. And you know it's a seemingly simple challenge, but we are looking for a little bit extra. What do you think they need to do to put them over the edge? I I'm very happy with what I saw. You know they really blew my mind already. They've got things I didn't even think of. Next, I'm moving on to making my ice cream for the Bombay Crush. And once I get that in the freezer, let it set, so then it's ready for the blending later. My caramel just bent. I have to redo it. Linda, what's in here? It was my caramel bent. Yeah, it looks a bit, a bit bitty. Yeah. Are we starting again or are we yes. rescuing? Starting again. We're starting again. Okay. Are you enjoying this particular challenge? Ah, not so much. <laughs> With my, me burning everything, I hope I don't burn my cookie. You don't burn your cookie. On that note, I'm going to leave you because I don't want you to blame me. I literally need to watch this caramel like a hawk and just make sure that it doesn't burn as the clock is ticking. I don't know. My mind is just out of it. I'm blank. Why am I going blank? I know how to do this. I don't, I don't understand. I, I can't. This is just too much for me. We lost. Is she, is she baking anything? She's got stuff in the oven. This is my faluda, so I'm making the base for the drink. So I've gone with rose water, Turkish delight. You've got that rosiness coming through. I'm just gonna pop the seeds in. Biggest flavors in faluda would be the rose syrup and the basil seeds that go in there because those seeds sort of explode with flavor. I've put the cookies in the oven and now I am going to add some bourbon to my hot drink. For my milk drink, I'm going to make parmelat a full room milk. Allspice berries, nutmeg, cinnamon sticks and maple syrup. It's very good. Fifi? Yeah, boy. It's cute and sweet. It's very good. It's but I, I see the progress. I can already smell the carrot cake in this kitchen. Oh, as well. Are you happy? As well. <laughs> because carrot goes well with pineapple. Yes. So instead of putting it inside a cake, I'm going to make a pineapple filling. Oh, I see. Inspired by So you need lay powder, but we find? You can't starch. Oh, can't starch just to thicken, thicken it. Thicken it, yeah. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. But why am I blanking out? What's up? Sugar, flour, add pumpkin, add white chocolate chips, and add tea. So that's all I have to do. 
some of the other contestants are coming to me telling me Palisa you can do this Palisa you can do this you've made it so far you can't give up and that's actually pushing me to come back into the kitchen you're very much in your own head today. Just sort of go back in your mind to what you know. This is nothing that you haven't done before. You've made cookies before. I think breathe. Okay. So tell me, tell me a bit more about your cookie. Okay. I see that you've got some stuff going on in there. Yeah. No, I need to actually start all over again. Oh, did, did something go wrong here? Yeah. What happened? Um, I mixed the wrong amount of butter. I probably thrown away an hour of my time. Now I have to make this happen in just 30 minutes. Uh, at the moment, I'm just trying to make another recipe and I'm just trying to move because I don't have time right now. Next up, will Palessa pull herself together and complete her bake on time to avoid elimination? Choose Parmalat for better lunches, better dinners and better family time. Parmalat makes life better and better. Parmalat. So what I'm doing is I'm making a giant cookie and I filled it with the uh, cream cheese and white chocolate so that when we open it, it will crack open and it will be ooey and gooey inside full of flavor. I've never done this before so it really is a tricky part because I need that cookie to be baked properly. Hopefully my AG oven will do its thing. I've got so much going on at my station and I've even got a pan of sugar on. And I just looked in time to see that my sugar is not burning. It needs to go on my nuts. I managed to get everything onto a silk mat and I pour the caramel over the nuts. Contestants, you only have 30 minutes left in this elimination challenge. Let's push. Let's go, guys. Ooh. My cookie just came out of the oven. I'm quite happy with how it looks. So I'm just worried about my caramel. I need to make caramel that will literally become toffee-like. It goes into my millionaire shortbread. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit better. I'm just hoping everything will come together. I take sultanas, I'll just put them inside. I pour a little cinnamon, mix spice. I'm just doing whatever I can at this point just to put a plate to the judges. Cookies in the oven. Um, just quickly going to make a cream cheese filling. Uh, Lizelle, what yeah. are you making there? Um, this is my whipped brie. I'm going to add some maple syrup to it, a little bit, and some walnuts. It's for the cookies to dip. Okay, lovely. And uh, putting bacon in cookies, something you've done before? No. Oh. I just wanted to do something different. What do we got here? Donut cookies. Oh, is it a triple decker cookie? Yeah, I'm gonna stack it up there. Okay. This has gotta be thick and nice. It normally takes like three hours to make Turkish. I'm pushing it to like 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, push, push. Aiming for a Turkish delight, but if it doesn't go my way, I'm going to do a Turkish top piece. And any um, friendly competition going on between you and Nolan there? Because you're both, your flavors seem quite similar, hey? I was shocked. <laughs> Shocked, were you? The betrayal. Ooh. Oh, a bit of, you know, change you wanna, yeah. from teammates to enemies. Huh? Overnight, literally. <laughs> it's 100% pure chance that the two of us decided to make the same flavor profile with a really similar drink. <laughs> I'm eyeing out your competition there. Are you worried? He doesn't seem worried at all. Is it competition? Oh, <laughs> fighting talk. <laughs> uh, what's giving you the edge over Damien there, who's got similar flavors to you? Authenticity. Wow. <laughs> okay, tell me what's going on. What are you making okay, now? I fried my vermicelli with some clarified butter. Delish. Um, I put in the cardamom seeds, uh, some star anise, and then some cinnamon sticks, fried it up with the um, vermicelli, and then cooked it with a little bit of the Easy Jazz smoke. First elimination. Uh, not nervous, Steph. Not I nervous. I'm used to working under pressure. Every day in the kitchen is under pressure. My mom puts me under pressure every other day. So oh, I'm okay, tell me what your mom does. Maybe I can do that for you so that, you know, you can feel at home. Uh, Nolan, make sure you're working clean. Nolan, make sure you're working clean. It's very dirty here. Yes, Please, clean is. up, clean up. <laughs> Good luck, Nolan. Thanks, yeah. Happy with how the cookies baked, how it's all coming together? Yeah, I'm happy. Good. Level of presentation is going to be quite high. Do you have a plan in mind? So far, no. Okay. <laughs> honestly. Yeah? <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. We appreciate the honesty always, okay? Thank that you. first impression is going to be important. Just keep that in mind. Thank you.
Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. Glenda, you okay? Looking a little bit frantic. I am. Everything going on track and according to time, Glenda? No. Everything no. is not oh. going according to track. To I am so lost. Oh. Well, see, that's looking much better than the, the previous one. It does. Yeah. No lumps, no burns, even color. Ooh. Yeah, look how delicious. Well, Lessa, I see cookies, which is a great sign, but I don't see a drink yet. Uh, is our drink happening? I'll work something out on the drink because I see I don't have enough time and I'm just trying to put everything together right now. So, Palisa, you will have to get some type of drink out. You gained a lot of courage and you came back into this competition, so don't disqualify yourself by not having a drink as part of your offering today, okay? Okay. Good luck. Thanks. I can't quit now. I've come so far. I can't do this. I can't. I can't give up now. Nolan, what's going on in this bowl? Uh, chef, I'm just trying to make a fortune cookie. Something that's just going to be like an addition to my drink. Please make it a good fortune. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thing about elimination challenges is definitely don't do too much. Elimination challenges will humble you. My cookies are ready. Now I need to start making my latte. Once my milk and tea bags and spices are boiled, I'm going to be throwing milk and adding it on top of my latte, just to make it look beautiful. I'm actually now assembling my cookies. I would like to believe that I'm in control, but yo, my nerves are literally getting the best of me. Oh, I'm sweating. Uh, my cookies just came out the oven. They're looking wonderful. They got that gigantic look that I love. So while the cookie is still hot, I need to press in some fresh raspberries, get on my raspberry jam slash coolie that I've made. Let's do this. It's time to rumble. With the raspberry coolie, we've put fresh raspberries in a pot. I've put sugar and some rose water just for that extra rose water flavor and cooked it down and strained it so there's no pups and seeds. I need to have the toffee caramel going on top of my baked cookie and I, that needs to set for the chocolate ganache to go on top of it. I don't have much time to actually work with. I think this is fine. Your Turkish delight is set a little bit harder than usual. Is it because you, you sort of um, spread it out too thin maybe? It was spread out too thin, yes. Yeah. And then I threw it in the freezer but too long. So it okay. went. Are you happy that it's going to still sandwich the way that you'd intended? I'm going to brew like it, make it sticky and put it back on there. Okay. My Turkish delight is becoming a Turkish dismay. My drink was meant to be a chai milkshake, but there's no time for that right now. I just pour cream, milk, cherries. I'm trying to put everything together. It's, it's just too much. After putting the salmon stick, my latte just went the throat depleted. Yo, this is not what I wanted. So I've taken my cookies and decided to put it on top, but with a straw running straight through them all. And then to top it all off, I'm gonna squeeze a little of my Turkish delight, dismay, put it in the syringe and there's more flavor. You need four, hey? I'm the mommy of the group, I have to help them. And I feel sorry for her, because I, I think she can go so much further. There you it's go. Fine. You can leave okay, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't have enough time, this clock is just clicking. You have to get it all done in time. Oh, shots. <laughs> I still need to assemble my bake, my milk, and have something presented on the table. One minute remaining, bakers. Come on, guys, give a shot. A photo finish from Glenda over there. Well done, everybody. Let's get tasting. It tastes good. And I'm happy with my milkshake as well. I'm just a little bit worried about my presentation, but yeah, I'm hopeful that the flavors will carry me through. Looking at everyone's presentation, whoop, I think I did less. For the first time since I've been in this competition, everything that I wanted in my cookie and my latte is there. I'm happy. I'm just hoping that the flavor comes through now.
Because, I mean, the presentation does speak for itself, but the flavors needs to come through. I think definitely I have a creative interpretation of the brief. It is something that I won't normally see in an everyday shop. Uh, I definitely would stop scrolling in, on Instagram if I see this. I think that my going to bring today is the whipped brie, um, but it's a kind of filling as for a cookie. So, come on, Sky. I'm feeling quite disappointed in myself, but I'm happy that I didn't quit. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just let all the noise just fill up in my head. You at home can also get involved and bake more memories by participating in this week's viewer competition. Show us your interpretation of today's challenge. Bake your most amazing version of cookies and milk by using royal baking powder. Upload it onto socials by replying to the competition post. Use the hashtag TheTasteMasterSA and you could win a KitchenAid stand mixer plus a Pomela tamper with a thousand rand. Good luck, we can't wait to see your cookie creations. After the break, how will the cookie crumble as the judges taste their bakes? Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. So judges, cookies and milk mm -hmm. gives me a warm and fuzzy feeling. I love the concept. What are you expecting from today's challenge? A lot of new flavors, crunchy, tasty, mm -hmm. well baked. Mm -hmm. Much the same for me. I want an interesting milk drink and, and a matching of flavor. So I think I want the cookie and the milk to work in unison to give me this flavor explosion and yeah, just excite me. And I think that they are going to do that because some of the flavors are very, very interesting. So I'm excited to see what they put forward. Yeah, so am I and I hope we are pleasantly surprised. Right, let's bring on the first bake. Let's. Working up to the judges, I'm a little bit scared. Uh, at the same time, I'm excited that I've got something to present to them. It would have been very embarrassing not to have anything to present to them, especially given the, what happened in the last minute there. So clearly time was a bit of an issue for you today. I mean, you maxed out the absolute total amount that you were allotted. Um, other than that, what else would you say was a challenge today? I struggled a bit with uh, caramel. I bent the first batch and I did it again, bent it again. <gasps> so yeah, the third time it was more like I literally have to watch this like a hawk and make sure that it doesn't bend. Um, I love the combination of caramel and um, pecan nuts. So already I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, so let's taste, shall we? Let's. Linda, I love the viscosity of your drink, but for me, it doesn't really scream of any flavor. I wish that there was more of that herb flavor in your milk, because for me, it is missing, but a great effort. I like the chocolate ganache, beautiful, but very well done. And I also like the fresh herbs, it's amazing. But I think your cookie was underdone. It's not very well baked. You can see it's crumbling and when you start chewing it, you can, it goes back to the dough uh, kind of texture. My uh, pecan nuts are over. They're a little bit burnt. Uh, so that takes away that bitterness does um, grip my palate a little bit. That caramel is on point. So you made the right calls on your flavor profiles. You could have just given it a bit more stick, but you can be proud of what you did here today. Good job, thank, thank you. Thank you, Glenda. I'm happy with the presentation, the little twist on it, the board, the way everything came down. I had some chocolate leaf, which I just threw on there. You know, just gotta make it look inviting. So I'm very happy with what I'm putting forward. That looks amazing. How do you feel about the end product? I'm happy with the end product. Only thing I could change is the thermometer I used to make the Turkish delight. So I've invented a Turkish toffee. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B. Plan B. <laughs> Before you dig in, the pipettes on top of the straws, mm -hmm. those are just to drizzle over the top biscuit so that oh. the flavor also comes through. <laughs> so the Turkish toffee delight, I should have left that off. Damien, I think your, your concept 
was really strong. And even the way you presented it, it was like a full presentation of the cookies and milk. And it was like an entire story, which I really loved. I thought your faluda, the flavor, often faluda can be very sweet. And I think you showed some great restraint there. The textures are lovely. The flavor's great. I liked your, your presentation. We ate with our eyes. It looked beautiful. But unfortunately, the toffee, <laughs> the plant bit didn't really do you any good. But the biscuit is nice. It looks like a crunchy biscuit, like you can just break it and it's just well baked. Beautiful, well done. I love that there's so much depth to this bake. Uh, and these components and the way that they merge together. I, I just want to celebrate that. I think it's fantastic. The toffee just worked so against what uh, everything else that you did here today. But for the bulk of it, well done. Thank you, Damien. Looking at my dish, I would really not change anything because that's who I am. I am very rustic. My look is always rustic, even when I bake at home. So I'm very happy. I like the way you elevated your, your cookie. Your cookie with bacon, you know. <laughs> We're looking forward to taste it. Lizelle, that was very, very enjoyable. So good, I loved it. I mean, you drove it all the way through. That American cookie style is kind of like moist, a little bit underbaked. It feels like it's got that texture, but the bacon maple cookie combination is uh, addictive. I mean, it's, you can just have more and more great execution of the brie cheese. So much fun. It smells amazing. The drink is nice and warm, and it gives you that kick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, well mm. done. Delicious. Thank you. Just, I want to keep eating it and eating it. Just when the sweetness gets too much, your saltiness comes in, then the funk of the cheese, and then the bourbon shot. It just, it all works. It's a beautiful concept. You executed it beautifully. Thank well you, guys. Thank you. I'm not proud of what I have in front of me, but I'm happy I actually finished it. I'm feeling quite disappointed in myself because I know I can do so much better than this. Both components means you qualify, you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm okay now. I had to deviate from my original plan because I saw that time wasn't on my side. Well done for getting everything done after all the emotions. I'm very proud of you. Uh, thank you, you so much. To taste. Uh, thank you so much. But listen, let's start with the positive, and that is your cookies are beautiful. The texture of the cookie for me as well is delicious. It gives me melting moment sensations. It's crumbly, it's tender, it's buttery. For me, the filling, the cream cheese filling, it needed a bit of sweetness, you know? It's, it's erring on sort of buttery in its flavor, so it just needed a little more flavor added to it, a bit of sweetness. I think we can all agree that the drink definitely was an afterthought had you blended maybe the cherries and the milk together that would have you know been like oh i get it but this is purely milk cream with some chopped cherries on top and for me um i don't think that this is an acceptable entry into this leg of the competition because we wanted a milk and cookie experience and that for me falls short I'll agree with Zola. Uh, your biscuit looks amazing. It tastes beautiful. It gives that melting moment, like you say. Only if you added just one flavor, just to elevate it, it was just going to be perfect. The drink, yes, it really didn't work, but the biscuit is amazing. Well done. Great cookie, unbalanced flavors, and no real finish. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Palesa. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Today I feel a bit easy, and I'm ready for anything whether it's negative or positive. It was just a happy day and I'm feeling at ease. So sis, Siabonga, what's your name? 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 I've never made a carrot cookie before, but I'm, just, I'm hoping you love it. Your smile says you're very <laughs> proud of this carrot cookie. <gasps> Should we try this carrot cake cookie? Let's go for it. Well, Fifi, mm -hmm. if I had to imagine what a carrot cake would taste like in a cookie form, but better, mm -hmm. that would be it. The textures, the flavors, the execution of every single component in this, I felt 
was done excellently. That pop of paper at the end, that's class. Thank you. Of course, chai latte is my favorite. Um, I like the spices in it. I like the sweetness. I like the warm drinks. And wow, a carrot cookie. Thank what you. That? <laughs> it tastes amazing. The cream is like furries on my tongue. You know, beautiful. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. And I'm sure your sister will be very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, all the elements were great. If I had to do one critique, was that I want more spice in my sp spice chai, but that's just me, you know, nitpicking. Delicious. Thank you very much. My heart is going to do, do, do. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, because if you fall, <laughs> you have nothing to give to the judges. There's no even extra, it's one cookie. Nolan, your fortune cookie is missing. I was looking forward to finding out my fortune. Where did that go? Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, the last two minutes were just too tight to push it and everything was ready to go, but I just didn't have the time and I didn't want to give you a, um, a less fortunate cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in. It's like a cookie pie. Mm. Mm. Nolan, uh, this is a triumph for me because I think that you've somehow created a cheesecake, but it translates as a cookie. Also, your Bombay crush, not too sweet, lovely flavors. I love that um, texture of the basil seeds and also the flavor. It gives like a bit of a herbaceous note to the entire thing. I thought this was vibrant and delicious. I was a bit scared when you mentioned the coolie that it was gonna make it soggy and it didn't. The filling is so nice and sour. It goes nice with the coolie, sweet and sour, and the biscuits, it stayed crunchy. I was scared, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm scared, but I'm happy. I'm happy yeah. I was worried that the coolie was just gonna mess it up, but it didn't. The drink is very nice balance, not too sweet, beautiful. For me, this was not as great as I expected, just because the sweetness is so much, and if the coolie wasn't there, personally for me, you would have been in trouble. But other than that, very innovative, very clever. You're a sharp guy. Thank you, Nolan. Thank you for your feedback, Charles. Thank you. You at home can also get involved and bake more memories by participating in this week's viewer competition. Show us your interpretation of today's challenge. Bake your ultimate cookies and milk by using royal baking powder. Upload it onto socials by replying to the competition post using the hashtag thetastemastersa you could win a KitchenAid stand mixer plus a Pamela tamper with a thousand rand. Happy baking! Right contestants, another bake under your belts. Today was a tumultuous bake for some of you, but you can all be proud of yourselves because you put something forward that we were all happy to judge. So well done to you. If I call your name, please step forward. Fifi. Lizelle and Nolan. Congratulations, the three of you are safe. You've done enough to go into the next challenge. I never expected to be on the top three. I thought I was going home, <laughs> to be honest. We would also like to take a moment to acknowledge the top biker of the day. There was one of you that elevated this bike and took the concept of cookies and a milk drink to a next level and it was really really satisfying to experience so we thank you for that and to acknowledge you we have a little parmalat milk pin and so the pin goes to Lizelle Vandaag heb ik rarig mezelf gepush om beter te kunnen doen, beter type goed te doen. En ik hoop dat je mij een blauw voorschot in de volgende challenge. Damien, Glenda en Palessa, please step forward. Bottom three again. All three of you had some great elements to your bakes, but unfortunately you also had some downfalls when it came to completing or executing the challenge. At this stage of the competition, unfortunately, it's those little things that mean the difference between being on the top and on the bottom three. 
The next contestant who will unfortunately be leaving the Taste Master Kitchen is... Palesa. Thank you. I'm a bit disappointed in myself, but I am glad that I actually got this far. Palesa, this was not your best day. We are truly very sorry to see you leave the kitchen at this stage of the game because we think you are such a talented baker. We're extremely excited about your future and to see you prosper and um, we wish you the absolute of best. You may greet your contestants and then hang up your apron. I've learned to never doubt myself, never look down on myself, and I've learned that anything you set your heart to, you can do. My first competition, and this is not the end of Balesa, the big cat. Bye, Balesa. The rest of you, obviously you can feel the pressure of an elimination challenge. Try and keep yourselves out of it. We'll see you in the next round. I'm very happy that I'm still in the competition, that I'm not going home, but it was gut-wrenching to stand up there and be in the bottom three. Congratulations to our episode four viewer winner of the Kitchen Aid Stand Mixer and Parmalot Hamper. Bushra Adams created a new nostalgic experience with a mini creamy licorice marble cheesecake baked on a salted licorice brownie base. Wow! Another feel-good production.